In this video, I'm going to be showing you the next step after you setting up the Laravel project. So for this to work, we obviously have to start a WAMP server. And I just started my WAMP server. Wait for it to turn into green. And uh, yeah, so it's in green. And now let me just go to my command prompt and then locate to my project file. And then I'll show PHP artisan server. I think uh, this would be the last time I would be showing this on the screen. But if I just go ahead, continue, it, it is auto understood that I have already started the command prompt and requested for uh, serving the pages using the artisan command. Okay, so now it says it's live at port 8000. So let me just go to localhost port 8000. So yes, here we have uh, Laravel 5. Now, let me just go to the folder structure. So this is my test project folder. And let me open it with uh, my, you know, default uh, code editor. You know, I prefer uh, Atom. I use code, I use PHP Storm. Okay, it's up to the individual taste. So, you know, I would uh, continue with Atom. I would open it with Atom. And here we have a lot of files. We have app, bootstrap, config. You know, it, it looks really overwhelming. And yeah, sure, it is overwhelming. Unless you put in a little bit effort, it is definitely overwhelming. But I think, you know, it's not so hard as you think. Anyway, let me just uh, show you what we have. We have something called as the app folder. And then we have HTTP folder. We have public folder. We have config folder. And then, you know, we have so many folders. And by the way, did you notice that uh, by default we have Laravel file loading, and and how is this thing you know loading from the scratch? You know that's a question that we have to ask. And if we look at it, basically everything is registered under a file called as routes, and that route is present inside of the app HTTP folder. And then here we have routes.php file. Let me just open that file up. So here is our file. And then we have route, and then there is a get request, and then a forward slash, and a, and a closure. See, this function is called as a closure. Sometimes you might uh, see others or me as well referring this point as a closure. And so this closure is doing something, and it it is doing like uh, you know it's it's doing return view and then and then it's doing welcome now if we have a deeper look at it be, you know basically it is straightforward so route and then we are doing a get request let's not worry way too much about this request let us just uh, you know for the sake of understanding let me just tell get as you know something like you when you hit the point at the root of the website that is what is this get doing so it you know it, it's just signifying that uh, if you hit this point what is going to happen if you hit you know root folder what is going to happen and then here we have the closure and the closure is basically doing return view welcome so it is returning a view you know straightforward and you know understandably it is returning a view so where is this view if we look at it, now view is basically inside of the resources file. See here we have a resources directory and inside this directory we have another directory called views and then here we have welcome and then it's not just welcome.html or welcome.php it is welcome.blade.php. Let me just open it for you. Yeah, this is pretty much, uh, you know, raw HTML and, uh, you know, raw CSS, not much uh, fancy here. But uh, what is fancy is welcome.blade.php. Now, this blade is special and it is limited only to Laravel. So, blade is called as the Laravel's 
templating engine. We'll have a look at Blade in the upcoming videos, but at this point, just remember that Blade is Laravel's templating engine, and we would be naming any file with the Blade extension attached with the PHP extension. So let me just go back to the routes here, and then what are we doing? We are returning the view, and the view name is welcome. So this is the view that we are trying to return. And here is the content. Now, how do I prove it to you? Let me just show it to you now. It's actually La Laravel 5.2. Let me save it, and uh, you know, let me just uh, reload the page. Look, so this is the view that we are pulling in. Every time the user enters the root of the website, root in the sense the forward slash. I hope you get this point. And uh, this is as basic as it could get. Now let me just show you a couple of moves. I will copy this exactly and then paste it and then let me just uh, say about right and uh, you know this forward slash is optional unless you're talking about a root you know directory this forward slash is optional so so it's as good as entering forward slash about you know it's optional that forward slash is not necessary and then here we have about function and then let me just give a, a string let's say welcome let's say about and let me save it and let me reload yeah sure I should go to about a b o u t here we have about now what did we do here basically we are doing a get request for the about page and then we are calling in the function which is other words in other ways called as a closure and that function is basically returning about without going to any view now you can ask me is is this all we do in the programming no we do a lot now let me just uh, for example let me delete it let me come back here and uh, so if I just take this function off like this and uh, you know what I'll do is I'll create about controller and I'll use at symbol and then and then I'll say index so look at this versus this here we are just calling a function and this is basically an anonymous function which is uh, having no name but here we are telling that it should have you know it should go to about controller and then load a function called index inside of that about controller so if someone comes into the about section so localhost 8000 forward slash about so what's it going to do? It's going to go to about controller and then load the index method. But the question is, do we have an about controller? No. So in order for an about controller to be created, we have to go to the command prompt. All right, and let me just control C. So it stops the uh, serving part. And now I'll use a command called PHP artisan M A K E make controller and then now provide the name of the controller you want so of course we know the name of the controller is about C O N T R O L L about controller and if I just click on enter so it says controller created successfully and if you have a look at this we have about controller dot PHP and not to forget let us do PHP artisan sir so now let it resume serving and then let us check out about controller now if you have a look at the about controller it has automatically created a file which is supposed to have all the uh, prerequisites for a controller so it should load the controller namespace and it's doing all the inheritance part don't worry way too much about this so if you want to create a controller you know now that you should make use of the php artisan
or manually if you want to create you just got to create by you know copying this and then creating a new uh, folder there but why to take all that pain so now the name of the method that we are loading here is index so let's just create that index method public function index and then now in this index method essentially we just want the index method to return the view file so return view and then what is that uh, uh, name of the view we created it is basically about right so about that's it and then of course we should end it with a semicolon save it and now let us see if uh, whatever we have uh, you know if we have done it right it should display see so about the site now what is the difference core difference between whatever was there by default and whatever we are doing right now so essentially they both are pretty much the same here basically we are passing the URI or the URL and then in this case we are directly calling the method you know this is called as the closure which is an anonymous method here we are calling the index method which is basically basically referenced at the controller and the name of the controller is about controller so usually in most of the cases in an MVC pattern you know a controller is the place where the logic happens the model is the place where you know connections with database or any anything of that sort anything related to database happens you know getting the uh, the query and and creating uh, a new record to the database everything is done in the models part and controller is responsible for the logic and whatever is going to be displayed is the view i i i hope you've got the point when i'm talking about the view view is responsible for displaying whatever there is on the uh, front end so this is a view and what does the view file have view file have you know this thing uh, here is the about.blade.php file and then here we have our uh, static HTML you know this is a very 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 basic introduction to routes views and a little bit small introduction to controller now let me just uh, do one more thing now F what if I want to load another method on about controller I'll have to just copy this paste it and then you know call that method let us say another method and of course sure enough we've got to call we've got to create the method or otherwise it's going to throw an error let me just uh, sh uh, show it to you now I'll just say about let me just take out this URI and then I'll give it uh, another so if someone goes to localhost colon 8000 forward slash another it should basically throw an error because it is not having that method look it said is not found another method is not found where in the about controller about controller is basically a, a class because here we have everything loaded and this is a, a class now if this has to work I've got to create another function so let me just copy this and then paste it and the name of the method is another method right and uh, let me just return you know about view itself right so if I just go to another try reloading it look so it displayed the about method. if you like this video give it a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button because that encourages me more to put up more videos